Hey, what's up everybody? It's Stacey Storino. Welcome back to my channel, the number one place for entrepreneur moms who are engaging in content marketing so that they can drive traffic to their business in order to do business. Now, if you're like, Stacy, I just really started to have a business presence on Instagram. I'm new to this form of social media marketing, or I have a personal Instagram account for a while, but now I have a business account and my business profile has no one or almost no one following it right now. I really don't have much in the way of social proof. So I'm kind of feeling like I'm going nowhere fast. What do I do? Well, no worries. Plenty of my students tell me that in the beginning. So that's why I made this this video to help you get your first 100 followers on Instagram. So make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to get real world help that entrepreneur moms like you need to succeed when you're marketing your business online and through social media today. But before I forget, in my recent video, 2020 Instagram Content Marketing Strategy, I shared some tips to help you up your content marketing game in a fresh new way, especially with the advent of Instagram Reels. So be sure when you're done watching this video that you check that other video out. Plus, that other video, following it is one of the best ways for you to get your first 100 followers on Instagram. Okay, let's go. Tip one, know what not to do. I know you might be desperate to get social proof on Instagram and to move from the single digits of followers to at least the double digits, let alone the triple digits. And of course, once you have 100 followers, you're into triple digit territory where look, I know from personal experience with my family business's account, Joe's Dairy Barn Grill, we really felt happy when we hit our first 100 subs. Now we're a lot bigger than that. And you will be too if you put your head down, work hard and don't give up up, of course. Everyone starts from zero. And granted, Instagram's a very competitive game and a mature platform. So it's not like it would have been a decade ago where you could have posted and in a matter of days, you might have succeeded at getting your first 100 followers. And no one's saying that you can't do that now. But honestly, be prepared for the long haul and don't try any of the cheats that I discuss in my video, what will destroy your Instagram. If you think that software or follow for follow circles can help you get to that first 100 followers and then, you know, maybe you'll abandon that practice because now, you know, you look like you've got enough street cred to make it on your own. Well, watch that video and then you'll know what not to do. Don't cry, believe me, there are plenty of legitimate ways for you to get to your first 100 followers on Instagram that do not end up with you getting your account banned, shadow banned shut down, what have you. So here comes tip two, focus on long-term success. You might think that working your IRL or in real life network to get to your first 100 followers on Instagram is a good idea. You know, you'll reach out to everyone you know at college or university, and maybe you'll hit your first 100 subs that way. Or perhaps you'll work your Franks, as they say in marketing and sales. The acronym that stands for friends, relatives, acquaintances, neighbors, kids, parents, and spousal connections. I also like to throw in there co-workers, past and or present. But this can be a dicey thing to do. Here's why. If and only if any of those people are your target market, then yes, you should approach them and ask them to follow you. Remember, in this video, we're talking about getting to your first 100 followers for your business account, your Instagram business profile, not a personal one. If you were working on your personal account, then all of those types of people I just mentioned are fair game. Why wouldn't they be? But if you try to get people to follow your Instagram business profile and they're not your ideal customer, your target audience, they're not say, interested in the products and or services that your business has to offer the world, trust me, it's not worth getting them to follow you because in a matter of days, weeks max, they are going to stop visiting your account because the content doesn't interest them. And other shiny, bright, red rubber balls have attracted their attention legitimately. And do you know what happens
happens then, the Instagram algorithm picks up less data points to surface in connection with your account. Fewer interactions, views, likes, comments, shares, anything. And that leads to a decline in terms of your account's authority. That means your account is less likely to go out onto the Explore page and or less likely to show up in anyone's feeds that follow you already. It'll only go out to those who are showing interest in your content by engaging with it. And if that's no one or next to no one because all these nice people just try to give you a short-term boost, that's all it'll give you in a vacuum. And that's not likely going to lead to long-term success. So only approach people in your real life who would totally be your target audience or don't waste your time. But don't despair. You've also got tip three, content publication for the win. After you've approached anyone you know who really could, would, and should be in love with your content and get them to follow your Instagram business profile because they're going to get value from the content you publish there, the next step is to actually you know, begin publishing content in earnest there because your content is going to attract the people to you who also will get value from said content. You know, the folks that are your ideal customers, your niche, right? So you want to publish on the daily if Instagram happens to be the first or second choice in terms of platforms to visit on the daily. In my YouTube video, Instagram for Adults Q&A, I discuss why content marketing on that platform is so important and I reference there and in other videos leading up to that one that today's Instagram user will be on that platform for up to 53 minutes a day and that they do love content from businesses and that they do find value in that content. It shapes their buying decisions and so forth. So be sure to check that video out. And when you publish content on Instagram, you really need to make sure that it's properly indexed to be found in search because Instagram, the way it's used by many consumers today, is used as a search engine. They search on keywords and or hashtags to find the content that they want to binge on. So you don't just want to use any old hashtags because otherwise you'll be wasting your time and spinning your gears with content production. And who the heck wants that? And you want to make sure that when you're using hashtags, even ones that seem right at first blush, you want to make sure that the hashtags that you use are those that actually attract people people who are buyers, even more than browsers. And to do that, you should watch my video, blow up your Instagram with this hashtag strategy for more details. And how does that help you get your first 100 followers on Instagram per se, you ask? Because the more actual buyers that you attract to your content by optimizing your content in light of buyer interest, in light of your ideal customer's intersecting interest or the desires and or needs that would bring them to a business like yours in the first place, the more likely it is that once they find your content via search, the people who should be following your Instagram account will be more likely to follow you they'll find a piece of content that interests them that you published, they'll become intrigued by your business, then they'll visit your profile and bio, and they'll see that clearly you've got more content that they're interested in, hopefully enough for them to binge on, and then, hey, what do you know? They follow your Instagram business account. They engage with your content. The Instagram algorithm has more data points to surface with that engagement of theirs. Then the algorithm makes sure that they see more and more of your content. So is to keep those followers on the platform. And before you know it, over time, through attracting people to you through search on Instagram and from your followers sharing your content, at mentioning your business, and just telling their like-minded friends to come come check out your Instagram account, you'll grow. And that's one of the best ways for you to get your first 100 followers on Instagram. And they'll be the right kind of followers who will actually, what a concept, sooner or later buy from your business. And that's what you want at the end of the day, right? You can't pay the bills with followers, only with the money they give you through the purchases that they make. 
But if you're like, look, Stacy, all that's great, but I keep hearing about TikTok. Is it banned? Is it not banned? Should I get on TikTok as an entrepreneur mom marketing my business or should I avoid it or should I be working with both TikTok and Instagram Reels? I'm confused. What do you think? Well, wouldn't you know it, I've got a video coming out that addresses all of this and more entitled Instagram Reels versus TikTok. My family's business, Joe's Dairy Bar and Grill, has a TikTok account. And as the re as of the recording of this video, we have over 175,000 followers or fans there. But still, you'd be surprised about what we think of Instagram Reels. So you're gonna wanna check that next video out. In the meantime, make sure you subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell, and select all so that you can Follow along with this entire Instagram series that I've got to offer you. Be sure to check out these two awesome videos too because they'll teach you great content marketing strategies that can help to blow up your business. And of course, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.